The first hour of the day is the most important hour for me. It's the chance we get to actually assess, to have a look at everything around us, and also sort of see what's your day going to entail because of what happened the day before. That's something that's quite important to us. A lot of our, our day on the mountain is free ski, so it's not just on the piece, which is quite predictable. Uh, we have to go backwards a little bit and see what's been going on with the weather. So our first hour is something where we converse, we sort of share ideas, we sort of share feedback and information. The other thing I always do in the first hour is, is check my bag, you know, so it sounds silly, but things like spare pair of ski clubs, spare pair of goggles if a client gets, you know, falls over and gets uh, fogged up, you know, like uh, it's very difficult to just get going again. Uh, so it's always good to have spare kit. Check my first aid kit, because you, you never know if you're gonna need to use it or not. And then my avalanche kit as well, you know, my transceiver, shovel and probe. So as a team, we're also lucky enough uh, to be supported by Heli Hansen. Heli Hansen, in a way, you know, they, 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 they keep educating us about quite a lot of aspects of outerwear layers. Layering being so important to us because when we go up the mountain, you know, we can see a huge temperature shift between every thousand meters you might climb. I always take a spare layer for myself in case there's an adverse change in weather. And that's the one thing, you know, even if you plan to the best of your ability, sometimes things just change dramatically because that's the nature of the mountains. So that thing for me about layering systems and understanding how to layer properly, we've passed that on to our academy clients. We like to think that they're better educated and prepared for it, but ultimately that's a protection mechanism. The wind chill alone can shift the temperature by 10 degrees. So in the morning, I, I'll be spending a bit of time on my laptop looking at Meteor Swiss on the phone and like really seeing what's going on and where. And so it's a really key important part of planning your day in your first hour, making sure you're layered correctly and you've got a backup layer as well. And if I'm really lucky and, and what I always try and do when, in my first hour of the day is if I've done my planning right, I get that little moment to meet the team. So the team will all meet together at the bottom of the mountain before we go off and ski. Teams full of great ideas, teams full of great uh, knowledge about what was skied yesterday as well. But also from a, a motivational point of view, you know, when there's an energy of uh, teamship, everyone wants to look after each other. Sometimes people can have up days, down days, but usually when we've all sort of gelled in the morning, bonded, grabbed a coffee, we get that sort of energy that we take up the mountain with us and, and that always gets passed on to the clients. It always makes for a happy academy week. And when people can see that you've done your planning and they understand and you explain what you did in your first hour, they get it. So then they can also switch on themselves. So you can actually end up by saying that in my first hour, what we did is the reason it went well today, even though you guys are different levels, you know, you all got to ski something that was a challenge. But when people are told that, the great goal of like the first hour of the day is to actually get everyone thinking about the first hour of the day. And if you can do that, you can quite often change a lot of the outcome of how the day goes with people.